Hey guys, Jessica here, and um, you know, just looking so lovely today. We just woke up. I'm having some coffee. Nash is having some breakfast, but I thought I would vlog today. Nash, can you say hi? Hi. He really likes his waffles and bananas. That's his favorite breakfast. But yeah, so we are going to Goodwill to donate some stuff. And then I want to run to Whole Foods. So maybe we'll find some cool stuff at Whole Foods. And then I also ordered some groceries. So we'll go pick up groceries from Walmart. So we have an exciting morning planned. It's not something you Nash, daddy's not where feet go. Stop. That's not where your feet go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sad? Are you sad? Got it. All right, so we just went into the Goodwill, and it actually, I haven't been in there in a really long time. I used to come to this Goodwill all the time. Um, it was looking really bare today. They did not have very much stuff at all, but we did get a couple things. We spent 98 cents, but we got this cool little book, Organic Baby and Toddler Meal Ideas, because I have been struggling lately. This little guy, yeah. <laughs> Nash, back there picking his nose, um, He's gotten very picky, so stop doing that. Um, so I'm looking desperately for some new meal ideas. And then we got phase 10. It was for 49 cents, and um, it had not been opened, so I did open it up and make sure that it was still in the package. So we love that game, so we're very excited about those things. And now we're off to... Where are we off to, Nash? Whole Foods! Hey. I want water. You want water? Let's see what's in these bags. Okay, so I went in there for one thing, um, really, and they didn't have it. I really wanted to check out some things. I haven't been in there in a long time, too. I ended up spending $100. Like, okay, cool. Um, I got some peanut butter. Um, I like this peanut butter because it just has peanuts and salt in it, which is actually like, really hard to find. Even, like, the ones that say natural a lot of times still have sugar in them, so... Oh, I got us two kinds of local honey. So, um, pollen is crazy here, and honey is, or local honey helps with allergies. So, um, I plan on drinking tea. Uh, I don't know if I've shared with you guys yet. I don't know if I have not yet made the video for my new diet plan, but I am going to be having a cup of green tea a day so I figured I could put some honey in it and that would help me with my allergies because allergies suck I got some Ezekiel bread um, I will be having bread every once in a while on my new diet plan but I want it I'm really trying to like cut out processed foods so that's why I have all these processed foods here okay you can take the keto out of the diet or you can't take the keto out of the girl we got pizza parm crisps and pepper jack moon cheese those just sounded so good and of course i was hungry when i went to the store so you guys know how that goes you always buy stuff that you don't need when you go to the store hungry oh this stuff i really got this for kyle because he's never tried it before but it's the himalayan sweetness popcorn this is so good um I used to get it at Kroger when I would go out of town. Our Kroger's here in town didn't have them the last time I went. It's been a long time since I've gone. It's been a long time since I've gone to a Kroger. But that stuff is so good. So I really want Kyle to try it. Keto pancakes. I just had to get this and try it. I am not doing keto, but I am doing low carb still. So keto stuff still works for me. Um, and I'm doing 40% fat. So, um... I, I don't know. Keto stuff is still going to work well for me. So I got that to try. I've got to find some syrup because I think that when I got sick, it was because I had sugar-free syrup with sorbitol in it. So I think I'm going to order some chalk zero syrup because I hear that, that is good. Um, okay. These are for Nash. He picked them up in the store. I guess he was hungry and he had to have one then. So he has sampled that. 
I got some Mary's Garden Cracker crackers because again, I'm trying to do stuff that has, you know, minimal um, ingredients in it. So got some of them to try. I like chili lime flavored stuff, so I figured I would like these. Some green tea. So this is the green ginger with a little bit of pear in it. So I'm going to have that with some honey. And then, I mean, you cannot, it's an absolute sin to go to Whole Foods and not get Lily's chocolate. So I got some chocolate chips and then I got some bars as well. Creamy milk chocolate. And these are sweetened with um, stevia. So I'm cutting out Molotol and Sorbitol for sure. I'm eventually gonna work on aspartame, but I'm not ready to give up Diet Coke yet. So um, I have the salted almond. This one's my favorite. Coconut. Oh, apparently I got two coconuts and then just almond. So I restocked on those. So I have plenty of chocolate from a chocolate. I've been talking in an accent all day too. And then the last thing, I'm super excited to try these. I might try these right now. I got some of the Smart Sweets. Oh, I don't know what they're, oh, they're sweetened with stevia. They have rice flour in it. Let's try these. But they're little, little bitty. What's that with it? Littlest gummy bear I've ever seen. Holy moly. They're sour. Those are delicious. Oh. I didn't realize this, but it does taste sour. Right there. For lunch, I'm just making some chicken salad. So I'm starting by preparing some celery. And I'm not going to use very much of the celery in it. But I figured I would go ahead and chop it up and put it in little bags so that we can eat it whenever we are wanting a snack throughout the week. So I am using some canned chicken here. So I just drained it and that is from Costco. It's just the chicken breast, canned chicken breast Kirkland brand there. And I am chopping up the celery really fine. And I think I ended up using two stalks. You will see that I just chop it up and then put it in the bowl and then kind of eyeball whether or not I need some more. I also am adding some grapes into it. So I just cut those uh, into eighths, I think is what I ended up cutting it into. I know that's kind of like a technical way to describe how you are cutting grapes, but I cut them in half, in half, and then in half again, so that it would be kind of bite size and you would get a little bit of grape in each bite. And I put about 10 in it and then decided that it needed more. So I used a pretty good bit of grapes, probably about 20 grapes in there. And once I got the celery and grapes in there, I went ahead and just added some mayo, about two scoops. I don't know exactly what measurement that is of mayo. And then I cut up a fresh lemon and squeezed the juice in there and then just went in with some salt and pepper. And then I added my secret ingredient, which is everything but the bagel seasoning and stirred it up. And that was lunch. Okay, guys. So I am about to declutter. Nash just went down for a nap. I am about to declutter that bad mother. Um, it is in desperate need of some help here. I can't find anything in this closet. So like if it's in here, I mean, there's no point. Like it's terrible. We have boxes in here that we haven't unpacked yet. That bag down there is from when we moved in. This bathroom is really small, so I don't know how that'll work. I'll try to set something up, um, or I may just show you like before and after. So this is the after, and it looks so much better. It is so much more organized. I can actually find stuff in it. I have space, and I got rid of a lot of stuff too, but that is it. That's all I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Bye y'all.